And one week after former Inspector General of Police Solomon Arase assumed office as chairman of the Police Service Commission, activities have begun in the commission. Mr. Arase had promised to prioritize the welfare of officers for improved service delivery. The new chairman of the Police Service Commission on Monday met with the Inspector General of Police Usman Baba in a movement to end the rift between both organizations over recruitment, promotion and discipline in the police. The meeting was the first since Solomon Arasi assumed uh, office and he promised to improve security across the country. They are my, they are my co colleagues and children, so I'm going to make sure that uh, I sharpen their skills. I made them to have, start having self-confidence in themselves. With more training, uh, the trust gap between members of the public and the police you know, will be bridged. It will improve our relationship because this is somebody who knows who we are what we are and what we want to be. If there is this synergy between us and the police high command, the men will be properly motivated. We don't have to quarrel about uh, their promotions. We don't have to quarrel about their recruitment. You know? So everything will be seamlessly done uh, in such a way that everybody, it will be a win-win situation for everybody. I'm joined now by Fatai Washeni, former Commissioner of Police in Lagos and Benue State, is also the Special Advisor to the York State Governor on Security. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 10. Uh, you saw the IGP as well as the Chairman of the Police Service Commission there vowing to put an end to what seemed a lingering feud between uh, the Police Commission and the Police Hierarchy uh, leadership, particularly the area of promotion and recruitment within the rank. How important is this move for the force? Uh, <clears throat> good evening. Um, I, I would say that uh, that's a fantastic um, beginning. Um, and of course, um, going and uh, you know, looking at the caliber of the um, personality that has been appointed the chairman of the Police Service Commission, it couldn't have been better than um, the um, retired Inspector General of Police, the highly respected is, retired Inspector General of Police, um, Solomon, uh, Dr. Solomon Arasi. Um, you know, it's been uh, a cat and mouse uh, game between the Police Service Commission and the management of the Nigeria Police Force. So starting um, with this um, interaction, uh, I would say that's a fantastic start. And um, even from the remarks uh, made by uh, the chairman, the honorable chairman, as well as the inspector general of police, um, I think uh, the police is um, going to have it uh, better than as um, it, it was before. Well, the announcement of um, salary and allowance increment for police officers have been lauded. Uh, but then they see the controversy around the implementation. What should you expect uh, the Police Service Commission to be doing differently under Solomon Arasi? Uh, the following the statements that have been made so far by the new chairman of the Police Service Commission, um, we can conclude that um, um, he has his, uh, you, you know, his job cut out for him already. And um, he has started hitting the grand running. Um, with regards to issues that used to um, you know, lead to rancors, um, it's also been stated that uh, the two um, organizations will, will work seamlessly now. And of course, um, what the new chairman uh, that I understand him saying is that aside the issue of uh, recruitment, promotion, that the Police Service Commission is going to delve more into those aspects, which are policy making, which had for a long time been neglected because of this um, uh, rancorous um, you, you know, um, uh, engagement the Commission and the Office of the Inspector General of Police are, are, have been uh, having for a very long time. So once the commission face the policy issues, because the police service commission is such powerful, if you if you follow the background that led to the creation of that commission, that's the 1957 uh, Willing Commission, 
um, during the Constitutional Conference of uh, 1957. The Commission has such enormous power. And of course, the Office of the Inspector General of Police also has that operational power. So it's sort of just a matter of understanding the perception. What do the Commission perceive to be their roles and their powers? Um, and of course, from the management to the staff. So um, he has set it up to say that, look, we want to face the policy aspect of our responsibilities. Indeed. And the Police Service Commission can do a whole lot to change the fortune of the Nigeria Police Force and, of course, to bridge the trust gap between the members of the police force and the members of the public. So once um, concentration is done on this, and the fact that the new chairman has also established that an holistic view mm. will be taken of the security sector reform. Um, that is to say that we are likely to see, you know, the police force that will be highly motivated. And while you're doing that, also take care of the welfare of the personnel of the police service commission. Absolutely, Mr. And once you have Very that, quickly, um, let us I speak think, to... Um, let the, us speak the, to the a serious paradigm. Indeed. I'd like you to quickly speak to the capacity of the new chairman and his track record in this regard, because in a few weeks a new administration will be inaugurated. But the the image of corruption associated with the with the police sadly still persists, even after the reforms that follow the NSAS um, uh, the NSAS protests. What do you think um, the new chairman of the police service commission is? is bringing, is capable of bringing to the table this time? Of course. If there is any appointment uh, made by this administration, by His Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Federal Republic, this is one appointment that you cannot just forge at all. You are having sitting down there as a Chairman of the Service Commission, um, one of the best inspector generals of police that we produced, not that um, all. You are also having someone who, before becoming an inspector general of police, was uh, a record three time principal staff officer to um, different inspector generals of police. So he has seen it all. And of course, after retirement, he's been engaged progressively with the uh, out to. You, you know, repackage the image of the members of the public um, um, see them to be. So the NSAS has demystified the police, and you are having an inspector general of police that during his tenure, he ensured that, um, you know, the, that trust gap was breached. Mm -hmm. And he's going to come in with this enormous, um, you, you know, strength um, and capacity. Um, to impact the working of the Police Service Commission, which is required at this point in time. Absolutely. I'm sure Nigerians are looking forward to that. Former Police Commissioner in Benue and Lagos States and Special Advisor to the Oyo State Governor of Security, Fatah Oshini, thank you for sharing your thoughts with us on the news tonight.